So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Torah Spatial. Today, I will show you how to prepare a drainage density map using RGS desktop. So let's get started. So first, let me add the dem file into our RGS. So let me add my dem file. So this is my dem file. Add. So let me re remove this uh, clip. So go to the search section. Enter as fill. So go to the fill spatial analysis tool here. Click this. So let me input my dem file. So let me save my output location. So I will name this as fill. So now click OK. So now go to the search section and enter as flow direction. So click the flow direction spatial analyst. Click the flow direction spatial analyst. Now input your fill file the fill input surface raster as fill now let me choose my output location and let me enter as flow direction Now save. Now click OK. So this is our flow direction raster. Now, now again go to the search section. Enter as flow accumulation. Search. So flow accumulation, click flow accumulation, spatial analyst. Now enter your flow direction raster. So this is our flow direction raster. Choose output location. Save as flow accumulation. Now save. So the error is uh, it is longer than 13. So let me reduce it. So now click OK. So this is our flow accumulation raster. So let me turn off other layer, turn off other layers. Now go to the search section, enter as raster calculator. Now search. So click the raster calculator spatial analyst. 
Now let us double click the flow accumulation. Let me put the condition the flow accumulation is greater than 1000. So let me choose my output location. Let me save as raster calculator. Raster cal 1000. Now click save. Now click OK. So this is our raster calculator raster. So our next step is to convert to raster to polyline. So go to the search section, enter as raster to polyline. Now click search. So this is our required one, raster to polyline. Click raster to polyline conversion. So now let me input my raster 1000. Rascal, that is raster calculator 1000. So let the field be same as value. Now let me save my output location as streamlines. So now click save. Now click OK. So now this is our raster to polyline conversion. So let me turn off other layers. So this is our stream or our drainage. So let me find our drainage density. So now again go to the search section, enter as line density, line density. Now click search. So click the line density spatial analyst. Now input your polyline feature that is our streamlines. Now let me save my output, make the population field as none. Now let me save the output location as drainage density. So now click save. Now click OK. So please wait for some time. So this is our drainage density raster. So let me turn turn off the streamlines. This is our drainage density raster. So go to the drainage density, right click, go to the sim properties, go to the symbology section, and classify as five rasters. That is five classes. Now let me change the color ramp. So now click apply. Now OK. So this is our drainage density map. So let me turn on the streamlines. So this is our streamlines. Uh, drainage density raster has been overlain by the, our streamlines. So now you can able to find that the region with uh, indicating blue color, that is the dark blue color, indicating a high drainage density. So here and here and here these are high drainage density so in case of hydrologically the higher the drainage density the lower the infiltration of water into the soil suppose the lower in case of uh, the lower drainage areas the lower drainage density areas there will be higher infiltration of water into the subsurface compared to the high density compared to high drainage density areas. So lower the drainage density, higher the infiltration and higher the drainage density, lower the infiltration.
So in our next video, I will show you how to prepare an automated automated way to prepare our drainage density. Drainage density. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and like there are specials. So for more contents, please subscribe our channel Terra Spatial. Thanks for watching.